Hello everybody, welcome to another Valheim video. Today I'm going to be showing you some building tips to make building as fun as possible for you using iron. You see, iron is actually very, very special. Valheim has these things called vertical and horizontal loss. This means that for most items, building them out makes them break faster than building them up. But there's an exception. Metal doesn't work that way. If we refer to the horizontal and vertical loss values here, you can see that for most things, the vertical loss is always less than the horizontal loss. Except iron and copper, which have a vertical and horizontal loss of 113. And they also have a 1500 maximum support value. This may just sound like numbers to you, but let me show you what this really means. You know how normally you can't build stone unless you're building on top of stone or the ground? For example, if I try and place a stone block on top of this wood, it just breaks. Most Valheimers stop it at that. They think that that's just how it works. Stone has to be placed on the ground. But it doesn't. You see, if I go over here, and I place this stone brick on top of this iron support beam, interesting! The stone actually stays in place, and that is the magic of metal. Metal is the super frame that allows you to build all sorts of things, and there's a whole lot of other uses that I'm about to show you. Here we are with a basic framework for a bridge. This may look silly, but this is actually all you need to do, and you could make a stone bridge or even a wooden bridge to cross over this. Here I've got it started, but you can see that all you have to do is place the stone on top of the metal. If you clip it in like this, that's not going to work, it's just going to fall. The stone has to be on top of the metal. You can see I can place it just like that. And now I'm at the apex right here. This is the weakest spot in the bridge. But yet, the stone is supported. And this is exactly how building with iron really opens the doors for you. The combination of metal and stone is one of the more satisfying ways to build that's currently available in the game. If you've been building with stone, then you've probably noticed that as soon as you start putting the stone out a little bit, then it breaks really quickly. You've gotten into the habit of always making sure there's stone underneath it. Well, using metal, you can bypass that entirely. I can just stick these pieces wherever I want on this metal framework, and none of them break. You can see that stone will stay in place as long as part of its base is touching metal. Another great way to use metal is to focus on the iron beams, because you can actually clip these into the wall. And that is how you make really tall structures that look like they're made of wood and stone. If you look closer, you can actually see. We'll remove this part, and there we go, there's an iron beam underneath. This is a really common strategy with tall buildings, and building with iron is absolutely necessary, especially for you to be able to finish up that roof without it collapsing. That being said, there is a little bit you need to know about how iron works and how it gives it stability. Because you can't just go around placing iron beams on anything and think that they're going to give support. You see, the iron beam has to come from the ground or at least from some stone. But even then, the iron beam isn't going to add to the stability of the stone. Iron beams only work properly when they're grounded in an object or the terrain. And that's why this iron beam is orange. It's placed upon some unstable stone, and the iron won't make up for that unless I clip the iron down into the terrain. And to illustrate my point, let's do that. I've removed these stairs, and I've clipped the iron there into terrain, and now you can see that the structural stability of the stairs is green, and this one is much higher. That's exactly what I'm talking about. You can't just go plopping metal onto something. The metal has to be grounded. It has to be put into the terrain or some kind of rock, like these spawned rocks you see in the background. Building-wise, there's all sorts of interesting things that you can do here. Something I'm currently working on is making a sort of hanging chain from this boulder made out of black marble. 
you can keep going down or sideways without any kind of problems. And that's what I'm going for here. I'm trying to make this sort of metal chain that hangs down from the base and then has stairs built up into it. But this is just one example. There's loads of ways that you can integrate your new knowledge of metal and how it supports stone and black marble to build some really fascinating stuff. If you want to support my work, then consider renting your own dedicated Valheim server. It's one of my favorite ways to play Valheim. There's lots that you can do with mods and all sorts of other things to customize the experience to be exactly what you want. And if you'd like YouTube to recommend more Valheim videos, then just like this video or any other video about Valheim and you'll start seeing more of them show up.